It is minus 14 degrees out here in Pemberton, BC, and I am gonna go dirt biking, which is very exciting. I've been looking very forward to this day. However, there's a few things that are in the way of me riding today, but I'm still making it work. So find out, join me as I travel three hours to the destination where I wanna go ride. It's gonna be nice and sunny and warm. I'm very excited, so join me. Tensored up, ready to go. starting naturally <laughs> feel like that's always a start or a story of my life so I need tools <sighs> hey what's going on Angelisa here and welcome to my vlog of dirt biking in McNutt McNutt Maple Ridge Spark plug. Okay, I got the bike started. I'm gonna do a test ride up the hill. Turn it off and come down, see if I can start it again. Here we are, bikes riding. So excited. Are you excited? <laughs> Let's go, two hours later.
face. Yay. <laughs> All right. go here so you hug that Just extended my body. <laughs> oh, sorry. Were you okay? Oh, at least I got over it. The rooster, uh, here, yeah. I'll help you. Hang on. I think I got the rooster is rooting. Yeah, she really is. Um, I'm like completely flipped back. Well, you made it. Yeah, I made it. We, I wonder if we can just. And then okay. Okay, ready? What do you do? Oh, just bending my back. Sorry. Nope, that's okay. What do we do? Flip it this way and drag. I don't even know at this point. I guess. Um, All right. There's your seat. There's the back. And then. 
<laughs> You'll never fall off again. It's too sissy for her. Okay. Uh, uh, now, mm. I just would rather drag you so you don't have to do it again, was my thought. So, can I go this way, or do you think just turn it around and... Okay. Let's try and drag it around. Can I, I'm just going to take this off. Yeah. So we're just going to drag it down to your bike, you think? I was thinking I was trying to not so you don't right. have to ride it up again. But that's the easiest. What to go? Yeah, because I'm already pointed that way. Yeah. So am I going to need a new seat too? Yeah, maybe. Probably, eh? Alright, by the title of this video, you're probably wondering how I broke my ribs and why I went dirt biking after I broke my ribs. I did not break my ribs during the ride yesterday, so we're the day after <laughs> the McNutt ride. I actually broke them a week before and it was actually at my organized women's snowmobile and snow bike meetup that I had a week ago. And I'll show a video clip as I'm talking. Basically, I injured my ribs by hitting a small bump. Now, the visibility was horrible, you couldn't see. I hit a bump and it was enough to throw my chest, my whole body into the bars. I had my transceiver sitting in the middle of my rib cage and with the impact, it winded me and definitely did something to my ribs. Now I was feeling very sore, but I continued to ride and I actually was able to roll my sled after feeling sore, very uncomfortable, but didn't think that I broke a rib at that point. It wasn't until I got home from my meetup, I went to the back of the house to do the 30 day static balance or bike challenge that I have been implementing for the month of January. And when I got my dirt bike out, I was feeling tender, I was feeling sore, but something that I committed, I believe I was on day like 24 or day 25 on that day of the meetup and I pulled the bike out and I swung my right leg over to get on top of my dirt bike. And at that moment, I heard this like crunching sound and instantly knew that I broke a rib. Now, I did that challenge that day. It was really hard for me to push the bike back and well, get off of my bike as well. So. I want to say because of the way that my bike is sitting, I have like a rooster tail of a fender on my dirt bike and the way that I have to swing my leg over onto my dirt bike is hard for me. I'm very short. It's hard for anyone that jumps on my bike. Like they can't even lift their leg, their leg up that high. Yeah, it hurts to laugh. It hurts to walk. It hurts to breathe, all of it. So anyways, I'm not... I'm not saying that that's why I broke my ribs. I definitely think I did some damage at the meetup um, when I just hit that little bump. I think what finalized the damage is just throwing my leg up and like, I guess crunching to the side or bending to the side and I heard it and I felt it. I felt that crunch. So. Was it smart of me to go and do a dirt bike ride up in McNutt? No. <laughs> but um, I must say I did actually really well. I was very surprised. I did have Shannon and Sam help me out a lot to move my bike. So thank you to those girls because that was pretty hard. Um, it was very comical. It was amazing just, you know, to get out as all of you know it's always nice to get some throttle therapy in and especially i've been looking forward to this day in mcnutt 
for a very, very long time. And I just wasn't sure I was going to be able to make it work, but I did. And I tensored up my core or my ribs, I guess. I bandaged that up and yeah, I took a ibuprofen after the ride. We went for supper and was able to relax. And then it was a three hour drive home. So do I recommend people riding after breaking ribs? No, obviously not. That wasn't smart on my part, but I did take it very um, slow. I was very mellow and again, had friends that helped me out a lot during that ride. So thanks to them. And yeah, I'm just going to be sitting here healing, doing work obviously, and uh, planning my next adventure, which is next month. So I am hoping I will be 100% better and more mobile by then and I'll be able to do bigger obstacles and challenges in the trails. So thanks for watching as always. And if you haven't watched the um, women's meetup social ride that I put on, you can watch that over on the screen here. It was a lot of fun and it felt so good to get to bring women together to snowmobile and to snow bike and to meet one another. And that's what I'm all about is bringing women together to do fun stuff. Until next time, keep killing it safely out there and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.